the player XD here. Have you ever read a comic book and wish you could play it as a game? Well, now you can, with Van Ryder's new line of graphic novel comic book adventures. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Cruiser Crew, which is a game for about one to four players. The game will take about 45 minutes to play. It's a graphic novel adventure that's really family friendly. It's a great mix of hidden pictures, comic book art, and decision making. So how's it play? Let's take it to the table and find out. In the Crusoe Crew, you take on the role of a character in a story in which your choices guide your progress. Each player takes one of the books, this represents the character they'll play, and each character has a special abilities. Players follow along with the story in their own book. The first few pages go over some of the general rules and concepts of the game. Grab the map and plot your course for your first island to explore and turn it to that page number in the book. Gameplay consists in following the comic panels, which contain clues, rules and traps, and making choices about where you want to go and what to do. You really have to look at each panel carefully to collect clues, solve puzzles, yes, puzzles, but don't forget. And each character has their own special ability, so their panel in their book will be identical to the others, but something may be different. There may be a different panel number listed that only they can see because of their special ability. Let's take a look at an example panel of how the characters can interact with one another. So players work together solving the puzzles and progressing through the story on the back of the map. You also have a character sheet that tracks your items, your special abilities, your coins, and your victory points. At the end of the story, there's a scoring chart in the back of the books that shows you how well you did. I really like this game. It's a very casual game that even non-gamers can enjoy seeking out the differences in the panels and making decisions on where to go. There's a good amount of replayability. In my family, we played it twice and the story played out differently because we explored a different area of the island both times. Not to mention that there were all of the other islands we didn't even get to go to. My only criticism of the game would be the quality of the books. After just our first play session, you can see that the book for Gabby is coming apart and the pages are falling out. And I should also mention that I grabbed this upgrade pack that includes little tokens to track your progress instead of using the character sheet. Crusoe Crew, I like this one, and I'm sure you and your gaming group will too. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Multiplayer XD, and it's time to up your game. We'll see you on the next one.